So I'm here with Sid, and he's going to show us his Lexus GS460. Yeah, GX460. GX460. Let's do it. All right. It has this awesome, awesome awning. So we're out here in Joshua Tree, and it's a little bit hot, isn't it? It is, yeah. You're totally shaded. It's pretty nice. <laughs> So uh, uh, I can't take too much credit. I found a bunch of videos on YouTube where people were converting their cars. And one of the top most useful things that people mentioned was having an awning. Mm -hmm. uh, literally for situations like this where yeah. it's a beautiful day, but you can't just sit out in the sun the entire time. Yeah. So having an awning definitely helps. And the 270 degree one just gives so much coverage that it honestly sort of feels like a living room almost yeah so it does a, there's a bunch of space so so it just so did you build this or is it um prefab prefab i mm -hmm. found uh I, I just found one online if i'm being entirely honest yeah be honest we I want went, honest i went uh i went the cheaper approach i think rather than get something name brand i found some guy um down in the south who was just fabricating this stuff himself okay and in the south the of where uh, i don't remember anymore okay the, the company's called overland pros overland uh, pros we can find them and put a yeah, link because exactly. i think and, people would definitely be interested uh, and, and everybody's making them now you know there's even awnings that you know they sort of just come out you know they don't even need any supports they can support themselves okay there's a lot of really interesting things but happen. yours is really nice because it goes over the whole top right oh no it doesn't Okay, I thought it went over your whole top. No, no, no. I just, I just so, do you have solar or what do you have up there? Uh, so, up there, storage? I have storage boxes for my dirty laundry and for my shoes. Okay. Um, just because I, I sleep in here. Okay, so and this wraps around your car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It was deceiving because I was coming up from the other side. Yeah, it, it definitely seems like it covers the entire car, but. It only does that one side. Um, you know, sometimes I have a rooftop tent and it opens up this way. Okay. So that's why I haven't get wrapped all the way around. Uh huh. And so, so you have a nice. Sense, yeah. And so you have a nice rack that you can put your rooftop tent on, right? Or does yeah. the rooftop come tent come with its own rack? Uh no, they're, they're always separate. You know, so mm -hmm. this one uh, I got from Prince and I have a eye camper rooftop tent. What I need to sort of figure out is like the awning prevents it from opening correctly so like that's one uh, thing that i'm trying to figure out okay uh, to, to see how i can get both of them to, to mm -hmm. work so i might have to end up uh getting rid of this awning just because it doesn't uh, mm. work a hundred percent but mm -hmm. that's sort of this lifestyle yeah so well let's see. let's take advantage of it and go and, and stay under the shade how about that yeah let's do <laughs> <laughs> So we're at an event uh, this weekend, and yeah. it's a, a like a welcome meetup. And you, tell us a little bit about the event, because you've been a member about a year. Yeah, about a year. So it's a company. I, I'm going to use the word community that they're less of a company, and I think more of a community. It's right. called Kift, um, and and really, I think the the whole purpose of this community is for people who can you know essentially sleep at least out of their cars yeah and then they have different structures where you know you can work you can eat you can mm -hmm. take a shower the, the only real requirement is like you got to just sleep in your car at the, the right the so day. you have like a main a main uh, yeah. house here and this is a little bit of the house I can show you so it's a community uh, room and has a kitchen and you mostly use the bedrooms for like offices don't you yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a really interesting concept. Wi-Fi. Yeah, everything. You know, I was working, looking at the mountains today, and, uh, you know, that was a pretty sweet uh, experience. Definitely. Right. Yeah, it's really cool. So it's, uh, is it kift.com? K-I-F-T dot com. .com. Yeah. Check them out. It's it's a fairly new. Fairly new. I think they've been around for a couple of years, mm -hmm. you know, but I think. You have different locations that you go. You've got this one in Joshua Tree. I believe one up in Northern California. Yeah, in Portland. In Portland, uh, then Oregon. Yeah, exactly. And then I think they just opened up a new one in, in Colorado. Yeah. So in the Denver area. Yeah, so when you're a member, you can go to any one of them. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I definitely, like, if you're into this kind of stuff, 
Mm-hmm. You should at least check it out because the people that you meet here are yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, they're doing all sorts of different things. Their backgrounds are all totally different. Yeah. But... It's very all inclusive. No, for sure. And I everyone's mean, willing to share. You know, yeah. I haven't really met anyone. I mean, we've else. had some fabulous food here. Yeah. So, like, the food is even in- included in your. Would you call it like a lease or. Yeah, I mean, I think. A little the, membership. Yeah, membership probably is the word i would use yeah but it is sort of like a lease because like you do get to stay at certain places yeah you know but it, it's really it's like a continuous airbnb yeah exactly at different locations yeah exactly yeah and for what like a uh, month at a time or six months at a time whatever you want to do right yeah it's definitely so you can stay in a, a week in joshua tree and say oh you know what i think i'll go check out the oregon one well if you have that month pass yeah exactly you can go to any one of them yeah i think it's exactly. a cool concept i really do it is and if you're into like the whole van life concept in any way just meeting the people here yeah will pretty much take you from being a noob to being somewhat like well educated uh-huh. just in a weekend alone just because oh, you yeah. get to see everybody's rigs you could have really interesting conversations mm-hmm. on yeah. Definitely recommend taking advantage of it. Well, sure. let's see your rig then. <laughs> okay, where do you where do you want to start? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you direct it because you know it better than me. Okay, we can. Uh, I think probably starting at the back. Of my All room, right, so. this is such a treat. I walked up and I saw your Ani, and then I saw you open your door and I saw this awesome refrigerator slide up that you have, and I go, oh, I gotta go talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, like she mentioned, this is my refrigerator right here. Mm-hmm. I'm not cooking as much um, as I had done like last year in the past. So this also slides out so you can have like a little cooking surface if you want. Mm-hmm. But, now, did you have to take the seats out in order to fit all this stuff in? Yeah, my car started, it's a GX460. It started with seven seats. It only has three seats left. Okay. Um, and, and the back two seats were the first to go. So I have some storage in here for tools and, and camping gear. Mm-hmm. Um, Using goose gear, they're expensive, but it's just so high quality. I think. It, 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 I mean, this is like your home now, right? You have yeah, a home exactly. base, or you're full time? No, I'm much? I'm full time. You yeah. know, I haven't paid rent in in a long time, but I'll stay at Airbnbs or uh-huh. couch surf when the opportunity yeah. presents itself. Yeah, let's see how your refrigerator folds out. Yeah, for sure. That's a nice big refrigerator too. There definitely can uh, fit quite a lot in here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, nothing yeah. too crazy, but it does have a bunch of space. So I can't nice. Really nice. Okay. Yeah, and uh, right next to that is my bed setup. Mm-hmm. Um, this company has really has changed my life. Like this memory foam is four inches thick, so it's pretty comfortable. Mm-hmm. And one of the issues that I, in my previous iterations, had was if you don't sleep on a perfectly level surface... Like, your body just doesn't get uh, as quality sleep as, as it would otherwise. Yeah. So, this is a inflatable little um, support structure for oh. the, the foam bed. So, one thing I'll show you when we get back to that side is okay. my car sort of has, like, two modes. One is, like, when I'm just slumming out of it, you know, then really it's just me that can fit in the car, but... I have another mode if like a couple of my friends want to join i can sort of move things around so at least two really people can sit in there um, wow that's pretty cool because this isn't like huge no it's not huge by any means so i don't think it's um, bigger than a minivan it's taller yeah a little bit taller but mm-hmm. you know for the for the most part like this is actually like a soccer mom mom crawler <laughs> you know <laughs> but underneath everything the gx460 has like a really solid just uh uh-huh. Four by four system in place. And okay. Like a super reliable engine. So nice. Um, yeah, I bought it used, and so far no huge problems. Good. Yet. Now let's um, take a look. Yeah, over here I'm pretty proud of this one right here, just because uh, I put like a shelf structure in there. Mm-hmm. So it has. Um, is this all from the same company that makes these, or you got that shelf separate? So, the, yeah, this shelf is separate. It's from a Japanese company called Snow Peak. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the requirements that I sort of had to put in place uh, when I started overlanding is everything needs to have at least a couple different uses. Yes. Otherwise, I can't have it. Just Multi-purpose. You just don't have the space. Yeah. So those shelves actually, um, with the cushions that were in the back underneath my bed, mm-hmm. turn into a, 
a bed, yeah, a couch, yeah, and two chairs and a table. <gasps> wow, so, that is very Japanese. You gotta give it to the Japanese, like, yes. yeah. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, so I have a couple of friends who are gonna be joining me later on um, at the end of the month. Uh huh. And at that point, I'm gonna have a, a ground tent. And I'm going to put most of my stuff in there. And That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just so that the three of us can go uh, just exploring in the car and not have to carry all of our stuff. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Wow. Because you can use it. It's not like you're putting out a cot and only you can use the cot when you put it in a tent. Yeah, exactly. You're utilizing shelves. Exactly. I'm, to build I'm not going to lie. That, I don't know if you're going to see anywhere else on YouTube. I'm that really is proud unique. of that one. I'm really proud of that one. That one, yeah. And all those cables that you see there are for my Starlink. So I have Starlink. Oh, nice. The now, dishes. how do you like the Starlink? We've had mixed reviews. Uh, I mean, look, me personally, I love it so far. You know, okay. because I haven't had any issues where I've really needed to use it and I was unable to get the internet. Uh, so I haven't had bad weather, fingers crossed, just yet on the trip. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting anywhere between 60 and 100 megabytes per second and it's fairly consistent, which is pretty huge. Um, over the course of the month, I'm going to be, you know, working my fairly serious corporate job mm -hmm. while also using Starlink. So we're going to find out yeah. if, uh, if I... <laughs> If I get in any trouble, but we'll sort of see. So far, it ha it's, it's it's been great, actually. So. Yeah. Well, the um, calf uses Starlink. They, he says he loves it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think a, a lot of these guys, if you walk around, they, they all have Starlink. And mm -hmm. I, I just don't know what other options out there that's better, right? Yeah. So we're sort of right limited. Now. But yeah. it's doing a good job. I know that I'm reading some articles that the satellites are starting to fall out of the sky. But... Uh-oh. Elon will figure it out, you know, as he yeah. keeps testing. I'm sure I have a lot of faith that, that he'll figure it out. Yeah. So, um, wow, that's impressive. Really impressive. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, and then out here in the front is just the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, since I'm driving so many miles, this is another pro tip for people who are trying to do van life. Uh, if you're converting a car, there's a chance that the seat that comes with your car isn't the best for your back your lower oh, back okay and when you're driving a lot especially over unpaved roads like those micro vibrations do slowly add up and start just destroying your lower back so mm. you got to do yoga I, I put these uh sort of like seat cushion type things in mm -hmm. there um and they do okay. make some difference not that they solve the problem by any means but mm -hmm. they they do definitely help yeah um, and then i like a little ipad mount over there mm -hmm. uh, that way if i need to be on any video calls or anything like that uh while i'm driving yeah i can do that i haven't executed it just yet yeah but once people get more comfortable with me at work i definitely want to try it out <laughs> and just see what the reaction is uh, i just yeah. don't want anyone to think i'm not taking my job seriously but right. yeah i got a gopro up there uh, a place for my phone and yeah, i put yeah. apple carplay in there so it's, it's not too bad yeah it uh it gets the job done for sure okay yeah and up here on the hood i'm sort of proud of this as well i have a solar panel that's mounted oh, on there so okay. you know th there are I some issues i've not seen them on the roof on the hood before yeah it okay. sort of like looks like it's part of the car mm -hmm. um it's not the biggest solar panel by any means. Like what? How many watts? A hundred watts. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. So the, the Starlink that I have, the, its power requirement is a hundred watts. Mm -hmm. So realistically, I can only use my Starlink during work hours while yeah. the sun's out. So if you're gonna get Starlink, you could just get an, a panel like this, and then yeah, just exactly. get a different panel just for do the your math, other, uh, your just other do stuff. The math. Yeah, just do the math and and make sure that. Uh, you know you have enough power that's actually very very nice i was running the starlink into the night and i mm -hmm. had forgotten that this guy's not working anymore and it did drain my battery okay um but then the next day like once the sun came what out, kind of like, battery do you have for that or is it uh, i just car? have this pretty standard car battery nothing okay crazy. oh I'm no not... power station or anything like that not at the moment just because i'm able to make this work i think like once i start my power requirements start <laughs> increasing um you know i'm gonna get a second battery in there or just have you know a portable one sort of a bigger portable so you, this is running your refrigerator as well yeah do you run it as a refrigerator or a freezer 
Uh, it's both. only a refrigerator. Only yeah, a refrigerator. It, it doesn't really get cold enough to. Uh huh. I mean, look, I have a lot of interests. Like cooking, just is not one of my strengths. Okay. Or, or, or yeah. Interest, but you know, it is what it is. Well, do you remember what company you got this from? Uh, that's a good question. I think mm -hmm. the company is called Lensun, L-E-N-S-U-N. Mm -hmm. Was uh, it on Amazon or you just like it searched was, around? Um, I'm not sure how I found them. Mm -hmm. I think I was just Googling like. Yeah, uh, I wonder if there's a, is that the name up there? No. No, oh. but I, I'm pretty sure it's Lensun. Um, Lensun? Yeah, they're, make, uh, they're made in China. Which, okay. Okay, maybe a little iffy, but it, it's worked perfectly so uh -huh. far. So they did a, they did a good job with, right. the, with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're almost so you're done. pretty minimalist, but you have really quality stuff. Yeah, I that's mean, what like, I would I'll, say. I'll, uh, I'll give it to YouTube. You know, I think like a lot of people, I started this process first by getting interested about it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a couple guys, Andrew St. Pierre, okay, and uh, Ronnie Dahl, mm -hmm. and they're based out of Australia, and like they're doing this all the time. So. By watching YouTube channels like that, they're very clear about. I mean, it's also like uh, a process of just like learning as you go. Exactly. Because I definitely was carrying so much stuff, and uh, one thing that's always useful is like pay attention to what you actually end up using. Like, go on a trip, take whatever you want with you, but when you go back, like really think about did I actually end up using any of this? And you'll find out you're carrying some stuff that like you use like maybe once or twice a year is it worth the space and it's just like you don't have a lot of space so mm -hmm. it's like at that time you might want to just say like okay we probably don't need to bring this yeah. so, um, all right so got in here we oh, got a guitar yeah i got a guitar don't ask me to play it i'm still you still, have an still amp learning. too um yeah i have a whole setup nice. uh, for, for that yeah i have a speaker and everything uh -huh. um i just got back from skiing in colorado so i have my, oh, nice. my helmet uh -huh. uh, honestly, I should be using this umbrella right now as, as, as shade. Yeah. But yeah, this is easy for a passenger or most of the things that I don't have a, a super mm -hmm. final spot for. I'm just throwing over here for right now. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's not too bad. I try to keep it as clear as possible. Mm -hmm. but, um, and then, yeah, the final part is right here. Okay. Um, I use, I'm all about layering. So uh, I use this one hanger for all my layers like I have a base layer and then if it gets a little windy and cold I have a layer for that and if it gets really cold I have another layer for that um, and that's just helpful so that you know you know I don't have a lot of space for a closet but and I wear all black so mm -hmm. you'll see me wearing this sort of the same outfit all the time okay but it's uh yeah it's pretty nice I just uh anything that I'll plan ahead like I'll sort of know where I'm going and based on that, I'll sort of have a little outfit just set up right here. And mm -hmm. then depending on the temperature or the conditions outside, I'll, I'll wear whatever needs to be worn. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. Um, oh, that's the rest of your bed. Oh, so you have just the seats folded down. They're not yeah, the out. seats are all folded. So, you know, if I have any friends coming and riding this, with me. This this is your third seat that you're Yeah, this is my about. third seat. Oh, the okay. two at the front and this and but everything else is storage out. at this point. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So, you know, I can deflate this and mm -hmm. then just fold it in half. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it worked out, but it fits perfectly. Can, where... I, can I take a yeah, closer look it. at that? Yeah, this is a very interesting because I know I've seen that before. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the, the fact that it stows away is, is, is huge. And mm -hmm. for now, I just, uh, you know, my chairs go under here and I have some extra space for random things. Yeah. And then my little gym setup is is right there. Um, <laughs> okay. It's just yeah, working. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about it. And like one of the things I realize is I never drive for more than two hours in a row. So every two hours I'll go to a rest stop and then I'll just jump rope and then just do like a quick workout mm -hmm. uh, every two hours and it helps keep me yourself. fit and your lower back you really gotta think about it if you're driving all the time like you're just putting so much weight down there that yeah you gotta stretch it out and just make sure you're strengthening it but yeah other than that yeah that's the the entire setup um I think the only other interesting detail is like how do I get into this bed okay I actually sit in the driver's seat Mm -hmm. and reach back to grab uh, one of the handles that's up here. Okay. And I'll just sort of like pull myself, loose myself into the back. Uh -huh. um, and the reason I did that is, you know, one of the overlanding channels was just talking about sometimes you'll get to an area 
where there's so many bugs or the weather's just so bad that oh, you really okay. don't want to get out of your car to and get bring into it bed. in because mm -hmm. uh, i had a rooftop tent for a long time and that was definitely the issue is like some of the places that are sort of swampier you know like there's just so many insects mm -hmm. and like the second you get out they're just all over you so this is nice i can just sort of pull up wherever uh, i have these curtains that uh, block out the back so mm -hmm. i'll just go in the back put those up and like, don't tell the, the cops of Breckenridge, <laughs> but I was sleeping in that parking lot during uh, the week okay. and just being a ski bum uh -huh. uh, for most of the winter, and, and it worked pretty well. So Okay. Um, we'll keep your secret on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so hopefully no Breckenridge cops. I mean, they're nice out there. As long as you're not making a mess, like, they're yeah. not, they're, they they do not get too upset about it. But, yeah, that's the... Wow, um, it was lovely setup. meeting you. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to put me on the yeah, channel. Yeah, awesome. Sweet.